That's the WC. I'm back in the champion's corner. Now, I haven't done one of these videos in a long time. So if you need like a refresher of what the champion corners videos are about, the link is down in the description to my previous video about the thugged out felon that all the women wanted to sleep with, all the women wanted to bail out. But this video, hey, this video is not about that. All right. The champion's corner is where I can be raw, I can be reckless, I can basically say whatever I want without, you know, fear of demonetization. Because I usually try not to demon, I try not to monetize these videos, but the way that they're uploaded, it is what it is. So if they become demonetized based off of the things that I say, it is what it is. I just, I just kind of don't care. All right, because I want to keep it as real as I possibly can without any type of restriction. So. Once the bell rings, I'm going to go in on today's topic. I want to give y'all a little bit of a preview of what it is. But I want that bell to ring. And I want y'all to look at the images that I put on the screen. And I'm going to break every single last thing down to y'all about the situation, the topic, all that good stuff. I'm rambling, but I want y'all to understand what's going on before I go straight to the topic. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to ring that bell. And I'm going to go all the way in. So, I'm very, very high on people's activism. You know, and the reason why I say that is because I'm a strong believer of if you do not stand for something, you risk falling for every single damn thing that comes out. All right. It doesn't matter what it is. So, I believe that if you have, it, like, if you stand for something, you won't fall for every single thing that comes around, all right? I think that that's fair. And I like to support people's movements. I like to support movements, you know, people coming together for the greater cause of something, whether it be the greater cause of building schools or playgrounds or after-school programs for these kids to, you know, to kind of run around in and kind of find themselves. You know, I'm a supporter of movements that build communities that build camaraderie all right camaraderie and communities you know what I'm saying? that's what i'm that's what i'm about when it comes to you know standing up for a cause coming together as one because these children out here need role models and they need coaches they need teachers they need good stuff all right and I, and this is the good game i'm talking about i'm talking about the good fight so anybody that's down for the good fight, I'm with you. Now, a lot of people ain't going look, a lot of people aren't going to admit this, all right? Barack Obama is kind of like the father of Black Lives Matter for the most part, all right? All this the downfall of race relations during his last maybe 6, maybe 7, maybe even 8 months of his presidency was it was earth-shattering. I just couldn't believe how all these racial issues, all these marches, all these shootings of you know of black people came about when Bra when Barack Obama was in office, and it just kind of seemed like he didn't say anything. All the all the gunshots and all the stuff that was going on in Chicago didn't say th nothing. All the stuff that was going on in Florida didn't say anything. And there's plenty of other cities out there in the United States of America that are freaking damn war zones. He said nothing about it. So essentially, black people just went out there and they just kind of voted for a party that didn't give a damn about them. Eight straight years of no progress. And towards the end, the wheels just kind of completely fell off. All right. Just completely fell off. Now that brings me to today's championship corner or champions corner topic. It is D-Ray McCashin. The so-called leader of the Black Lives Matter movement. All right. Now, I said so-called leader because I feel as though that Barack Obama is the father of Black Lives Matter. And that's just my opinion. That's the, that's the reason why the champion, champion corner exists. So I can give my opinion on this. I'm not saying that he is. I'm just saying if it happened under your watch, it's kind of your fault. All right. So this guy is, you know, one of the leaders of the Black Lives Matter movement. And, you know... In 2017, where everything and everything, any and everything, is basically considered 
to be PC. You can't have an opinion about this. You can't have an opinion about that. Somebody said something about Rihanna looking like she was overweight the other day. I looked at her. She looked like she was fine. And even if she did gain some weight, who the, who the hell cares, all right? Everybody going to gain weight. Everybody like to eat food. You know, it is what it is. But, you know, this movement, j trying to keep on topic now, this movement right here has done nothing for black people. It has done nothing for black people. And it's like, it's almost like it's hypocritical. When you talk about, you know, the segregation laws back in the 60s, the white only bathrooms, the black only bathrooms. It's like this Black Lives Matters movement is kind of undoing all of that in many ways. And people just don't see it. It's either they don't see it or they just don't want to believe that that's what it is. It's like undoing what Martin Luther King, so called Martin Luther King, right? I know that's not really his name now. All right, he's the champion's calling. I know I ain't going to lie to y'all. But it's basically undoing. What he was fighting for, right? So call site fighting for because we know that he was put in that position by some people. I, like I said, there's the champions corner, so y'all know I'm gonna keep it real now. All right, save the BS for somebody that don't know what the hell is going on. But the whole purpose of that segregation movement or the march on Washington was to eliminate, eliminate segregation. So when you have a Black Lives Matter movement, what is that doing? It's resegregating what was segregated back in the days to say that somebody else's lives matter over somebody else's. Now, the reason why I wanted to go through all this stuff, all, all this background and stuff about D. Ray McKesson, all right, because of the image that y'all see on the screen. I know y'all was like, look, when is he going to get to the image that's on the screen? Okay, I'm getting to it now. Now, this dude, all right, young dude, this dude thought that that ape, that's in the Planet of the Apes, the new movie that's coming out soon. If if it if it ain't already in theaters by the time this video come out, this clown thought that the ape was mimicking him instead of him mimicking the ape. And this is the dude that's the that's in, that's the leader of the Black Lives Matter movement. So it's like, what what is the whole purpose of this movement? Is it to race bait? Is it to, you know, bring a bring a spotlight to something that's unfair? Do you know that? Like, here's here's something that I want people like D. Ray to understand. It's more likely I'm more likely to get shot down by somebody that kind of looks like me, that is black in the in the black community, probably about a hundred a hundred more times than I am a, a, a cop. So this is basically what this movement is wrapped around. It's not wrapped around, you know, justice for all. It's wrapped around, I don't want to get shot by a police officer because I'm black. So a rash of, you know, unfortunate events, because we don't, because we, nobody wants to see anybody die from, you know, police brutality, if that's what it is. And in some cases, it actually is. Okay. With, with the rash of that happening. All right. These are anomalies and it's being spoken to us like these are regular things and it's not the regular. It's not the norm. So when you got people like this in charge of a movement that is a race baiter, this guy is a race baiter. This is a race baiting issue. This is just stupid. It makes him look bad. It makes the so-called movement that he's a part of bad that this guy didn't even take the time out of his life to realize that the Planet of the Apes character that he's talking about was doing this, was rocking this style before he was even freaking born. He was rocking this style before he was even born. And he had something to say about it. And this is the ass wipe that y'all got ahead of y'all ahead of y'all movement. A movement that is built on anomalies. Something that rarely happens, and if it does happen, it's like, look, you, you're you more likely to get ran over by an ice cream truck on a highway than you are to get shot by a police officer. You're more likely to get struck by lightning 
at this point than you are. I mean, like I said, this stuff is random. It's an anomaly thing. And if I sat here, this is the champions, Cody. I know me. If I sat here and I said that black youth wasn't the target of, you know, of, of, of these police officers, of course they're the targets. You want to know why they're the targets? Because they're the ones that's doing the damn crime. I mean, it's just, it doesn't make any sense. And then you got people like this. This guy, this D-Ray uh, McKetchen guy, is one of the worst things in the black community. He's one of the worst things in the black community. I advise, like, anybody that's listening to this video, if you ever listen to this video, just don't take people like this guy seriously. He's a race baiter. He has nothing to offer to the black community. Nothing. And if this, and if this situation doesn't prove to you that he doesn't have anything to offer to the black community, then I don't know what will. Doesn't do his research. Not very bright. Just a race baiter. Just trying to find things for you to get angry about as a black person. When in reality, the things that you should be mad about are these schools not teaching your children the right curriculum. Pushing them along through school. No child left behind. That's a bunch of garbage. If you don't learn the curriculum at a certain level, you shouldn't be holding no high school diploma. Where's the outrage about that? Where's the movements for that? Where's the marching for the children in the black black community? If black lives matter so damn much to D. Ray McCatchen, how come he is not out in the forefront for the schools, for the youth? And if he is, okay, congratulations. But we're not hearing about that. What we're hearing about is, oh, an ape from a movie stole my style, and I wasn't even born before he stole my style. This is stupid. This is so stupid. Man, it's the champion's corner. I think he's had enough, man. Make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe to this video. If you disagree with anything that I had to say about uh, D-Ray or the Black Lives Matter movement, let me know how you feel down below. I mean, just go ahead and let me feel. Let, let, let me know how you feel. I mean, I try, like I say, I, I think I kept my composure in this Champions Corner. I haven't done one in a long time. So I think I kept my composure in this video, man. Let me know how you guys feel down below. It's a WC. I'm gone.